If you've been searching for a top-tier UK university offering automatic scholarships without application fees as well as accessible student loans, even if you have a second-class lower, that is 2-2, your quest ends here. This university is still a made for you. When I discovered this institution, I knew it was precise the kind of place I'd be excited about. So, welcome to my channel, Debbie Radiance Migration. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button to be part of our family and stay updated with all the valuable information I'll be sharing in the future. This is the official website of University of Bedfordshire University in the United Kingdom. We shall go through uh, to the drop-down arrow where it tells us that there are different courses, the postgraduate study, international applicants, uh, funding and scholarships. So the first uh, thing we shall look at is the courses that are offered at University of Bedfordshire University. So search the course. We shall start. We shall start with the undergraduate courses. So the undergraduate courses. We have various courses that have been put here. We have accounting and finance and economics, business, computing, engineering, uh, life sciences, marketing, tourism, and event management. We have psychology, performing arts, social sciences. Now these are the courses that are uh, offered at the University of Bedfordshire University. So we shall go straight to how to apply. So on how to apply, it gives us a guide on the process of application. So there are two routes of applying to study at the university. So direct using a university own application form that is the form that has been put here this is a link you can go to the link and be able to apply or via ucas okay this is uh where you apply for various universities this is also an application i shall go to the international and eu postgraduate students the international and eu postgraduate students can apply directly to the university using the online application system which also has given us a link where you can go and apply for the undergraduate programs and the full-time courses the normal application route for most full-time undergraduates and foundation courses is via the universities and college admission services okay so this is where you apply but if you have any issue they have given us an email which is admissions at beds.ac.uk if you have any query you can uh, contact them through the email that has been provided okay so you shall go through the information that has been put here in terms of the undergraduate program and get to understand now let us go to the funding that is in terms of scholarship for the undergraduate students only now it tells us that um, we are investing in your future up to 2,400 pounds cash um, during your undergraduate study as well as offering a safety net of funding should you get into financial difficulties. So there's merit-based scholarships. There are also bursaries for students. Okay. And if you want to know if you are eligible for other scholarship bursaries or funding, you can click on any of um, the given uh, information that is here so that you can know that is um, it for the funding and the scholarships now we shall go back to the page that you are in when you go through this uh, this page you shall be able to understand what the scholarships are about now we shall go to the application and admissions guidance which is basically telling us on the, about the offer letter once you apply the agreement with university regulations and then if depending on your course you might need to go for interviews now that is that is just to uh, a bit on what uh, what the process once you have applied now we shall click on the entry requirements which is um, for the undergraduate applicants there are many different ways of achieving uh, the traffic points which have been stated below in the page you shall go through this 
coins that have been put here so that you can understand. Okay. Now we shall go back to the universe to the study button and go now go to the postgraduate study. This is now for the masters and the PhD students. Now we shall go to the courses that have been provided. Now we have the Master of Business Administration. We have postgraduate courses in art and design, continuing professional development and research degrees. Okay, now let us go back to the next page, which is now on how to apply as a graduate student. So it tells us that um, once you have filled in the relevant form for A4, you either email it to the, web, the, to the email address that has been put there, or you can also post it. It has given us a postal uh, address. Okay, now um, it tells us that have you studied an undergraduate degree with us? If you have studied, you can go through um, what, they, what, they, um, what they give on students or the services that they may offer you or if it's maybe a discount of anything, they have put it uh, in a PDF. You can go through that and be able to understand. Now, are you applying for an MBA? It gives you the steps of applying and that if, it's, if you're applying for a teaching degree, it also gives you the steps on how to apply. Now we shall go back to the funding that is now for the scholarship. That is external funding. We shall go to the external funding and get to see. It tells us that uh, options available to finance your postgraduate um, study. We have the government-backed postgraduate master's loan. We also have career development loans. We have research studentships, research council grants, and we have support from an employer. We also have local education authority, educational trust and charities. There are various ways that you can be able to assist. They can be able to assist the school can be able to assist you if you are applying and get funding to be able to study at the University of Bedford shire now we shall go back now to the ap international um, applicants international applicants who are applying from anywhere um, outside of the united kingdom now here we have you can be able to either you apply on this button you can press and see i'll also choose your country now we shall go down to this page and get to see what um the International students are offered. You can pick, you can filter in terms of your country or and choose your country so that it can bring you. For example, let us see what it shows us now. It tells us that you can pick uh, the country. So we accept applications from all over the world. So please visit our generic entry page if you cannot find your country on the list below. Now, for example, I will pick any country of choice. Okay. I will pick any country of choice and see what um, it has for us. So I will pick on Ghana, for example, and it will give me the information. You can see there's information about the agents. It gives me undergraduate entry requirements. If I'm from Ghana, it gives me the postgraduate entry requirements. Now, these are students that have studied in Ghana, okay? And then <clears throat> it gives us um, information about the fees and the scholarship, okay? Now, we shall click on the fees and scholarship and get to see. We see that if you like to, this is now information of individuals who want to pay school fees. But now I'm here to help you on in terms of scholarships. So, we can see that. They are very good um, scholarships that have been put. Let me let us go down on the scholarships and the bursaries. We shall click on the first scholarship information and get to see in the first year only on either undergraduate or postgraduate degree courses, international students will receive uh, one thousand pounds vice chancellor scholarship, 
An international student progressing to a higher level degree will receive in the first year only of the new course. You see, this is for undergraduate to postgraduate and postgraduate to MBA. Now, these are the various types of scholarships that are available. Okay. Now, this is in terms of um, country. If we have applied in terms of country. Now, we shall, we shall go back to the international applicants page still. And see. Now, you can be able to understand where we have come from. We have chosen the country. Then, you have been able to. We have been taken to the scholarships. And you have been given the entry requirements depending on your country which is very good and very easy so this is it for this university and most university as we have stated that they require you to apply for admissions first not all of them but some of them then you can be able to apply for for scholarship okay so depending on this university you can be able to see on the website you shall apply for scholarship depending on what has been stated on the page of the university so thank you very much for watching my video